Welcome back, Star Trek fans, and uh, this is Old Bob 10025. I'm playing my level 60 guide to go ahead and show you what a tier 5 starbase looks like. And the insides, uh, just so people kind of get an idea of what, what you can get. Uh, this took a long time to do with great friends to go ahead and make this, and uh, great people pretty much uh, sacrificing a lot of time, a lot of, uh, a lot of credits, a lot of everything else, um, industrial, com industrial items and everything. It takes a while to do this and a big fleet to do this. As you can tell, uh, right now I got uh, it's technically nice like quarter star base and pretty much everything's tier five here. And what you got to do is do a lot, lot of stuff. That's the only problem about this. But uh, once you get it going, once you get a good group of people together, it goes by quickly, so you don't have to worry about that. Just get a good group, good group, and you should be fine. Uh, just li just let you know just what it looks like and show you what's inside. Let's go dock real quick. Yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. Um, you get something when you have a, a tier five star base. Just show you like what 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 it can do. Let's go back here. Um, you get these uh, kind of like um, special missions or, or special things you can do right here based on the star base. You know, some of them would be to have suits. I'll show you here. Some of them would be like suits like this. You could have inside your star base. Takes like two hundred fifty thousand um, a dilithium pretty neat it shows all different Star Trek suits throughout the time periods and you know a little fish tank right there and then on top of that you get a fleet support drone like running around it's pretty neat go up here real quick let me go run uh, up here you get different things like the bar the dance floor you just go ahead and talk to the dance floor guy normally um, what usually happens is everyone gets all the stuff it's kinda cool but no one really uses it unless it's uh, unless you have a good group of people like sometimes we do just kinda just goof off over here go and talk to each other um, you're able to talk to Nemo go to the bar there's different um, you have different people inside your uh, uh, looks like these guys from Battlestar Galactica <laughs> but uh, anyways but you, you get to uh, you know counselor you can talk to the different um, like missions you want to do then over here there's a bridge coming over here Oh, over here is your meeting area. Uh, usually, to be able to use the embassy, which is much bigger, you can go ahead and use that instead. It has different ships, and uh, I believe um, one of the extras you can go ahead and get like the ships. And I think this this is modified a little bit to, to make it look better. Then let's go down here. Then you have your normal command center, which is kind of neat. Uh, with with this, you got your file. A file combination of like reports and what this has is if you have over 110,000 experience in one category you're able to use it to go get experience or to get uh, fleet credits actually and uh, let's see, give you an example what I have right, right now it's military like report gives you 75 fleet marks 15 expertise costs you 10,000 military points which are used right there and it shows you if you have um, over let's see one, one more thousand I'll be able to go and do it it costs 10,000 experience to go and do this, but I mean, generally, if you have so much, you might as well go and do it like, anyways. You know, then you just go to, uh, um, let's see. Here we go. Talk to this guy. This guy has, um, you commission duty officers. If you want to have very rare duty officers, it costs you 20,000 fleet credits. Is that, yeah, fleet credits. And with that, uh, depends on how much you have. Right now, I got 733, but I'm waiting for the research lab to get up to go spend some fleet credits. Generally, I think I need about 900,000 in order to get all different um, bonuses. So I'm just waiting until we get to level three to go ahead and uh, spend all my fleet credits I've been saving for a long, long time. You access your mail. You could uh, go over here, talk to the drone there. You can go over here and go ahead and uh, I think this is the bank. Yeah, access the bank if you want to. And anything about the bank, but I think you get this later on in the tiers. I think like tier three or something like that. And then if you need some fleet credits for the look, for the younger people um, that are just starting out, don't know about fleet credits, this is really good to go go and do. You talk to officer of the watch. You get a little mission to go outside and do some uh, um, like a daily mission. You can go and do, and I think you get like uh, 25. Is that right? 20, 20 fleet marks. <clears throat> then you turn those fleet marks into this. Into let's say you have fleet marks here. And I don't know what the ratio is. I forgot what the ratio is. Like one to five or something like that. And then you turn those in, and then use those for projects for different things throughout the uh, throughout the fleets. And let's let's go see what we can get real quick. Run over here. Also, too, like when you uh, when you spend dilithium for your fleet, you get all these really cool pictures. It's kind of neat, actually. USS Enterprise and the con is that the Constitution class? Yep. Then the original. Oh, oh, it's Enterprise. Never mind. Enterprise. Enterprise, what do you know? They're all Enterprise. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. 
Then uh, this is get to the other decks. I'll show you that in a second. This is where all the fun begins here. This is where you get to go and fleet ground supplies officer. You can get uh, some pretty cool stuff here when you uh, when you go and do it. But generally, what happens is uh, is the is the reputation items are a little bit better than these. But um, but elite pistols in case you want to spend four thousand fleet credits and four thousand two hundred fifty dilithium. Usually people don't do that because it's just just um, it's just not even worth it. And the reputation ones are all um, all generally kind of free. So pretty much are they, are they free here? Let's go see. Let's see if I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's go see. So Dyson Command. You can get combat armor. Uh, cost three thousand. Generally it's not as much, but it has some pretty cool stuff though. So. It, um, it, has, it has more different abilities and everything else, but you could get you know, melee weapons if you want, like the. Let's see if I can find it here. Advanced melee. I like the the Vulcan Lip, Liper. Can I pronounce that? Liprea. You get that. You go over here. This is the operations quartermaster, and you get little boosts and everything if you want to drop like a, you know like reinforcements. You can fleet security team. Generally, I don't see this used that much because because um, the the uh, fleet creds are used a lot more. So, I mean, Vulcan reinforcements. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Actually, I might use that sometime. But generally, you don't see that that much. So I wouldn't. I mean, you can if you can. If you got the fleet marks, go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, spread around. Go for it. Operational transwarp kind of minefield. That's some pretty cool stuff. It's just, just uh, um, yeah, that's kind of cool actually. Generally, you don't see this though. Well, like I said. Um, then you got the tailor shows you different things like a talk to tailor uh, let's go to store this is what it looks like you get the Odyssey extrusion uniform and the, and the dress jacket looks pretty neat there then excursion right there not bad then uh, then this one I used for a little bit just to get some pretty cool things I couldn't do before like say the photon torpedo ones elite weapons and I think I got the photon torpedoes a while back I don't use them that much but I still have them though see if we can find it here. Advanced weapons. Is it photons? Engine shields, deflectors, hangers. Uh, you get also these two. These are uh, generally you don't see a lot of, um, of from what I understand, the ultra rare fighters for your ships don't are, are not that um, effective as uh, are not that effective to go and use against um, uh, than the rare ones or the very rare ones because generally it just doesn't do anything. Just, there's, there's, no, there's no difference on them. And whenever they get this ready, that'd be kind of cool. It's just called the Hollow Deck, and I have no clue what they can do for this, but I'm um, hopefully they do a good job because that would be kind of nice to go check out. I don't know um, how in the hell they can do anything for that, but who knows? Then the other parts you could go over here. Yeah, you see, we got triples all over the place. We uh, dropped a couple, and that was, that was all she wrote. So this will change your your little uh, holiday decorations. You change it to whatever you want there. 2014, yeah. So that would change like everything. I know what they're gonna do for 2015, but who knows? Be kind of neat though to go check out. Okay, so we're gonna go down to the lower decks. Let's go to engineering. Like I said, generally people only stick up to the top portion and they don't really come down here. It was really no use because because the because uh, generally the uh, yeah I said generally a lot because <laughs> the uh, the academy or the star base uh, the uh, the Federation star base has a lot more so. Customization, you want to customize your ships. Like I said, all the stuff, you, you won't see that much. Uh, personnel, Telerite personnel officer. I think you can get some Telerites, I'm not too sure. Culture exchange. Yeah, if you want some Telerites, you can get some Telerites. Go ahead and go and exchange them, that's kind of neat. If you want to change out your if you want to change out your crew, um, I did that for my Klingon. And I changed out all my, all, almost everyone I could into Gorns. Because <laughs> I love Gorns, and I'm a Goran, Goran officer, so you know, got to do that. Uh, current issues. Holodeck performance of Hamlet. Special missions um, doesn't really give much, but it's kind of cool just to go ahead and do. You know, there you go. Come on. And I think there's one other person around here. I guess not. Okay, let's go to the next one then. Next one here. Oh, got to change out to my uh, normal outfit. There we go. Much better. Much much better. Okay, let's go to science. And check that out. Tier five starbase. You're able to do a couple of things in here, which is pretty neat. Let's see. A medical bay. 
medical officer. Hey, what you doing? I said, well, hypo, hypo pack. I think with this you can actually build. Uh, what do you get? Hmm. Let's go try it. It only costs five. Pack of hypos. I'm gonna go see what that does. That seems interesting. I don't know what that does. How long? Four minutes. So we'll check that. We'll check back that. We'll check that in about five minutes. A small medical generator. I'm gonna do that just to go see what it does. So let's go do that and medical assignments. If you want, yeah, you go through medical assignments here. Generally, you only do them through through here through the overview of the fine assignments. So then uh, I don't know if there's anything back here for this guy. Uh, let's go see. Medical treatment officer. Treat injuries if you're damaged. Oh, probably am damaged. I went through a lot. I'm sick in the head. How's that? Nope, doesn't work. I guess I'm okay. So that's a good thing. And then. Uh, this is the science deck, which is all the medical and sciences. I think this is the skill trainer, science officer. She'll, I want to know what these do, actually. That's interesting. Okay, I'm going to just go do them just to go check them out. But I'm around, and I'm still doing this in five minutes. We'll go see what they do. Special projects, um, data sample analysis, physical analysis, energy analysis. Hmm. Wow. Okay, well, this is something you can actually go and do. You need some dilithium. I did not realize this. See, you learn something new every time, man. No, ooh. So you get about, but it costs a lot, a lot of that. So it requires a lot of, um, uh, what is it? Um, uh, R R and D materials, and normally people won't do that because oh, that's five thousand, that's five hundred. That's way, that's way too much for just for this that. So I would probably not do that. But if you got enough to spare, might as well. Skill retrainer. Oh, let's see. Skill retrainer. I don't think. Uh, um. Huh. Okay. Well. Access. Um. Skill mastery class requires some start by facilities. I thought we actually have everything, but it looks like we don't. I think we're missing something. Missing something around there, but all, it's all tier five. So. I guess. Uh. Then these guys. They're just hanging around. This freaking floater thing is following me. Let's go to the other side. There we go. There we go. Bridge officer trainer. Let's see what you can do with this. Storm. Uh, these are for manuals. So in case uh, you're not in the star in the start in the fleet star base, you can just go and come here and go and do it. You're at your uh, I mean the uh, Federation Star Base. Go and do it here. Looks like Bones is over there though. Okay, let's get out let's get out of here and go to the next go to the next one. I think we went to engineering and let's go to tactical. Run around here. I don't think there's anything around here. Yeah, let's go this way. So yeah, you know, just generally, generally again, see, I use that as a uh, as a crutch. Um, ship selection officer. Select your ship if you want to change it out. Do some things. Do some things like that. Uh, so yeah, I gotta I gotta redo some things on this, but well. Primarily, this is the T5U. I need a, and I got a fleet one already. A fleet, and then I have a normal fleet heavy escort. Heavy escort. That cost it two. That's weird. I'll figure it out later. Anyways, so yeah, that's that. Um, up here, I think there's something over here too. Endorian. If you have an Endorian guy and you're so Endorian like and you love Endorians, you can go ahead and change them out if you want to. Um, I think you change them out. Let's see. Reassign a form of officers, so you can get Anandorian if you change out some officers. And generally, um, this is what you use to get your recruitment XP, which is really, really freaking hard to do. And uh, it took me a long time. I finally just got it yesterday, after a while, <laughs> after a long while. So that's what you can do there. I think that's it for that, and I think that's it. Let's go to ops, and ops is the top base, the top port, top portion. There we go. So that's basically a tier five star base, and already get the open view too. You need dilithium, I think it's like two hundred thousand to go ahead and um, have an open uh, um, section. It takes a while to do. Let's say there's Dennis. Uh, let me go see what he's doing. Hey, Dennis. <laughs> Let's see. That's Dennis there. That's one of my uh, fleet fleet mates there. Pretty cool guy. Uh, just to let you know. And. Uh, 
I just tell him on, he's on he's on video. But oh yeah, you could play. Oh, that'd be cool actually if you can play 3D chess. That'd be kicking. But oh well. So so anyways, just to let you know what's going on. Uh, what a tier five star base looks like. Obviously we got triple problems, which uh, we got to clean up sometime. And then also there's another one. I think this is uh, 200,000 or 150 to go open up this portion here. But um, generally a lot of people just run in here and they go and just do these ones right here. Do file combination re reports. Once you get to tier five, you're blowing through XP like crazy through your uh, through your DOF system, and they just trade them out and get fleet credits. As you can see, I just I just did that right now, and I have uh, 580 fleet credits. Um, that is a tier five star base. I can't even get that out. There we go. Tier five star base, and uh, just uh, that's it. So really appreciate you watching. This is a quick short video about what's going on. Go ahead, and, um, go ahead and hit a like, hit a subscribe if you like it. Uh, we'll have more videos like out there with different things going on. I'll have all the different, um, all the different bases. And let's see, the medical thing went through, so let's go check that out right now. It looks like um, okay, that's garbage. <laughs> okay, never mind. I won't even do those anymore. Um, large power cell. Yeah, that's that's garbage. I won't even try those any anymore. Well, that sucks. That was a that was a bust. But if you need them cool if not I wouldn't worry about it I guess if you get a critical you get some you get large ones but I could buy those in exchange so let's just go collect my rewards there so it does so I spent like 40 40 dilithium for that but it's okay I, I got a lot and I'll be getting much more so anyways it's like Dennis is having fun is that Dennis no it's not Dennis anyways so thank you for watching and I appreciate it I know you can watch other YouTubers and uh, thank you for watching mine I'll do a thing about the uh, the shuttle the mine and the spire and then also the research station I'm just uh, knocking out some videos like right now and uh, let's go wave goodbye everyone doesn't use these they should actually thanks Bob see you later guys